I'll tell you to kick this thing off. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the last episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus, where, um, in between, like, the past, almost the entire playthrough, basically, I've been, like, just casually collecting all those wisps and shit. But, uh, in between this episode and the last episode, I basically went and got all the ones I missed. So, uh, we're gonna be doing that before we take care of Avalug. And we're just going to ignore that Alpha Ghastly over there. Oh yeah, this rock. The giant, um... Keystone. I'm glad you came, this is good. First of all, a confession. I may have told you one teeny bitty lie. You're not the father. About the whiz. There were actually 108 of them. I've been holding back on the last one. Could you put in the odd keystone with the others? Sure. But before that, there were... What do you think of me? I don't really know you. Like, sorry kid, I only talked to you like twice. Really? You're gonna have to gather in 107 whiffs? Oh well, it's fine. We have time after all. Here goes, the final wisp. After this, the traveler who used the strange magic will finally forgive me. Right? Close your eyes, I said, would you? She disappeared, or she never there to begin with. Nope, oh, there she is. You know, this actually raises so many questions about the whole spirit thing. Making Galileo's wrist was my last bit of mischief. Thanks for playing along. Please don't forget about me. Oh. Okay. Oh. I was gonna say, like, do we not get to, like, fight or catch a spear to him? Oh, level 60. Alright, find the bolt it. Oh, that did good damage. I'm ready, I'm ready to get an attack, I might kill it. If I use Agile style. That way I'm guaranteed I probably won't. And even if I do, no big loss. This is probably the only way to get spiritual manuals. Well that or maybe distortion, but... So this spirit tomb is male. I, I guess she was just one of 108, so... Ah, oh, poo. Right. Come on. Oh. Raids? Oh no, don't do that. Oh, Scrappy, you did you did good, buddy. Huh, I got to put uh Zulu on the team. Let's see. Hold on. Come on. Stay in the Pokeball. Oh, come on! If I have to faint this thing, I will. Oh. Watch it work. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Why am I can't take this walking forward like that? Right. There we go. Three ultra balls didn't do it. Is there anything we want to do with the keystone after you caught it? Like, uh, like, are they really cracks? Hmm. Oh, it's got a physical attack nature. Okay, well that was... Honestly, anticlimactic. Just a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it's anticlimactic, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well... I wanna see my Pokemon. I get Zulua back on the team. Oh yeah, by the way, I in between episodes I caught a Zulua and evolved into Zulwook. Hey. Turn to the village. Alright, and now we gotta go back to basically the Winter first, Wonderland. I was gonna say fourth in hellhole, but sure, Winter Wonderland that works. I have the lion ready to go. Yeah. Ah, beautiful. I'll say this it was fun leveling up Zerua against other ghosts because they kept trying to go for like Shadow Ball. I was like, oh yeah, doesn't affect him. Oh, I'll first find him. Neat, but don't care. I'm a, my well, that's a tiny much chop. Nah. And Volvo again. Well, well, if it isn't so. What a pleasure finding a familiar face, or uh, any face, this far, in, in this far corner of the Alabaster Islands. I came being Garrick and all those snow caps. He was more than willing to have a chat. But I have a look. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Sure. Feel like you're gonna tell me regardless. Why wouldn't you be? I'm not giving him a good voice, I don't care. Avalog, yes, the fifth of Hisui's nobles. That he is, and this is the same voice, but again, don't care. You know what? He's an absolute beast. Yes, according to what I was told, not only does he brought you with chunks of ice, he also fights off massive icicles, which could also be considered chunks of ice. And he can cause sharp ice crystals to up in the ground beneath you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful? What's more, apparently the Avalog of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some snow caps and give your train your all. Nothing better by building muscle than that. I thought I think it's sword caps. Sword caps, snow caps, I don't give a shit. Mm, yeah, I did not want to see that Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing did it, and I will be off. Okay, this is the one time when he wasn't being suspicious. Really? He's, he's actually delivering an order. And Garrett didn't really refute him. Mm-hmm. 
and Derek in the type of video is very blunt about what he tells you. Well, I mean, he was pretty blunt about the fact, like, Avalog ain't causing trouble, so you don't need to go fucking, like, calm it down. So, we're here to quote Avalog as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. I heard how they're made, and with muscles like mine, it's only a moment's work. Yeah, I know Where that's- Where should I create the cheese in there? I know that's supposed to be, like, hair, but it honestly looks like he just painted, like, painted it on his face. If you truly wish to quill Avalug, walk on. Path lies before you. But know that Avalug will hold tr yeah, I know. Thanks. I'm going. Yeah, that's when you're gonna basically be mug like, Darting side to side. Oh, just teleport up there. Okay. Yeah, something like a side scroll thing. I said this is intense. Oh, Shadow of the Colossus now. This one would probably kill a Colossus. <laughs> Okay, you don't want to get close, but not too close. Great. There you go. Haha, -ha, iframes, bitch. Yeah, face like that. Okay, Ryan. Yeah, might as well just go for a strong style. Cause I got a few max survives. Well, that didn't do a lot. Survive? No. Okay. Alright, Geb. You strong style because rock doesn't resist rock. Oh, of course I did it. Don't forget, it's defensive to the low if I took a little. Yeah. That's all. There we go. Yes, this thing, just a right distance. I got the, I got the dodge. No. Come on, no game. No, nope, no, it's an in, in, insta kill apparently. Nope. Never mind.
At least this gives me time to like recover HP or whatever. There you go. Kill the definitely lost defensive and also like has a chance to quit now. Yeah, and again the bubble. Snowballs. Oh, and sure. Sure, okay. Yep, no. That's, well, that's, that's okay. That's, that's bullshit. That's fine, you can that's choose bullshit. the continue option without having to start the whole fight over. Okay, so when you get to assets, you're good to roll through the, um, if they continue battle. Oh. Yeah, we start. But I thought continue would be up front. Right. At least in that, in that, when you get to the snowball the end the spikes, you better fall through it. Right? Yeah. Oh, straight up into the laser, huh? Okay. I just got the... got the thing. doesn't replenish my things. Great. Oh, I don't know if can hear that noise. Yeah, sorry, it's a very windy. That and the neighbors are apparently, um, met doing something moving. And they're focusing more on 
whatever then. Okay, there you go, you got it. Couple bomb, then the mon. Okay, now just dodge the mountain gale. Nope. That's fine, this is basically what it's gonna boil down to, isn't it? Hey. Weaken it, and then Gap just finishes it. Oh, it works out. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, as the Amishati man once said. Yeah, that is one good method of death and choose continue battle. But if you do that, it, it restarts you from the checkpoint of the recent most, you know, stuff the battle thing. And your character's health yeah. is reset. Okay, again, yeah, sorry. I just kind of felt like it would have been. Huh? But now here we come with some bubbles in the ice. Yep. That's a lot faster. Yeah, nice and I mean how it is. Yeah. Oh, those ice crystals are staying there. Okay, I fought for a moment to get come out in the rest of <laughs> Yeah. Same. I've had that, had that happen to me. I mean, that happened in, for me against, like, what, Electro, like, twice? Alright, now just dodge the Mountain Gale, buddy. No. You might want to send somebody else out, because if you add those styles... Alright, let's send out Squidward. He should have resist a water type, uh, ice move. No, he did not. Okay. Try a water style. Or agile style. No, oh, even an agile style. Okay. I keep clicking him. Just heal up and then just focus on checking him, because you should be able to kill him before he can do anything. Nope. One more. Oh good, I did put him to a viable one, so he got, got part of that.
I did not know about Kaki cut those things covering his face. I mean, maybe, I, I didn't know, well, I don't know about Hasuian, but I'm not sure about regular Avalog either. And then it disappeared like it was never there to begin with. Garrick, so you didn't look so downcast. But seeing Muddy Avalog quelled by a slight child. Child that fell from the very sky. Is this Sarah girl some kind of monster in the skies? Well, fuck you too, buddy. She is no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied no suffering nobles. And she also just died, so give her some fucking credit. Sarah, Gary cares for the poke clan with all his heart and believes in old money sin just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that get involved with the Diamond Clan and your <coughs> galaxy team could cause our people to flag in the devotion to Almighty Sino. But that won't change. Rita. I know your feelings will change once you see what I've seen. Sarah has much to teach like, us. Our, like, our way of life is changing. Life changes. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife, so long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well. To see my whole world grow broader. Ah ha ha. Seems you've already changed, Alita. I knew you can. I was like, I knew you can pull it off, Sarah. No, wait, I gave him the other old, old voice. You gave him the jock voice. <laughs> you quelled like every last friendly noble. So, is that space tower gonna start closing now? Or Only what? if it explodes, killing everyone. There's no. There's little way of knowing for sure. Well, the rift does appear a little smaller. Somehow? <sighs> Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. <laughs> Although, if the rift does start spinning out more that strange of lightning, we should be alright as long as we got Sarah. Indeed. It's good to have her at our side. You know something, Arita? We may never agree on who's got a right about Old Mighty Sino. But you poor clan folks aren't all bad in my book. Aww. Well, look who's finally seen reason, even though I also kind of have and the whole wide world going. And um, kind of bitch in the argument. <laughs> well, anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, what's this wee business? I say we pay grim old commander Commodore a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Or open maybe it. at least crack open a few beers. Yeah, I hear he's got a good stash going. Alright. So let's head back to... And deal with the bullshit. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, let's rest. Just in case you force into a fight and all yeah. that shit. See, who do I have up? You know what, let's have... Let's have the work up front. Later, bitches. I thought you just talk to basically the Yeah, professor. I keep it. I don't like talking with him unless I have to. Oh, he's not the worst professor. Oh, no, it's about. not because I don't like him. It's just I don't like talking with him. Doing missions or whatever, but we got no talk to Commander Cody. Actually, no, wait, that's a solo character. He's too cool for that. A solo oh, character? Or not, oh, not Commander Cody? Yeah. From. From what? Yeah. The focus stick up and the murder kind of prick. I thought you said Dark Souls. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. <clears throat> each of the Pokemon novels became frenzied. Now each one of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. I don't think it's over yet, bro. And I think peace will be restored to Hasui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. See, that's at least a new way of saying, oh, fell from the sky. Like, if people just kept changing up, I wouldn't be as annoyed, but it's just like, oh, fell from the sky, person. 
When tomorrow dawns, it'll dawn on a world of sort of normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. I mean, technically, you guys were doing your normal lives. I was the one risking life and limb. Don't nourish yourself with the wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the survey code's work is not over. It doesn't end until our people can live here in the city without fearing the Pokemon around us. That's a long-winded way of saying it'll never be over, but okay. Uh, it's just not over yet. And then things are gonna get real. Thanks for the nice sizable helping out potato mochi, Benny old chum. Oh, is there anything else you'd recommend? By all means, bring it out, even though all you've ever served us is potato mochi. Which, anyway, I think he's actually got other food. I know, but it's just, I guess that's just like his signature star dish or whatever. Now, oh, sorry, this is right. Now that Everlog's crow too, we can survey all over Hisui. I mean, you could have done that before. I crowed Avalog. He's not exactly very nimble. Yeah, also I think there were 10 mochis in the bowl and stuff in the plate could be mm, I certainly had, had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling. Oh, come on, you know what we've been through. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, I suppose we did the right thing. That's my perspective, really. I hate to think what kind of havoc that frenzied nobles could have wrecked if Sarah never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quell, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift would disappear, would that mean Sarah would be stuck here? See, that's, I will, kind of feel like someone should be addressing that a lot sooner. It's like, wait a minute. You know, I guess so. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find the solution, I've no doubt. And even if we don't, you always have a home here in Jubilee. And then tomorrow's soon upon us. It'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Yet we still gotta take, out, take down the uh, Colossal Titan. <laughs> don't forget what we got our sights on. Nothing less than completed Pokedex that I don't give two shits about. With you around, the Pokedex is as good as complete. How about I take along with you as your assistant? Assistant? Come now, Ray. Don't say yourself so short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. <laughs> well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Oh, God, I'd love that right about now. We'll take care of that soon enough. No, 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 no. Just the, just the heavy sleep part. I'm not going to get that tonight. Ugh. And like I said, here the shit gets real. Oh dear. Remember what I told you about, they said about the lift and everything would be normal? Yeah, that's never gonna happen. No, that's exactly the opposite of what it is. Disaster looming. Uh, let's see, either go side to side. Let me experience the calamity for myself. Oh, the sky is being warped. Oh, this is like when uh, Dialga and Palkia get summoned and like the sky just turns multicolor. But this doesn't look good, so. I know. It's midnight and there's already like, like, weird shit happening. Hey look, Commodore can leave his desk. Uh, you probably shouldn't be standing directly at the whip, buddy. You might go blind. You know he's gonna blame you. Of course, why not? Even basically gaslighting and... Yeah. Mm, some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pulling from the rift in space-time. Could just say rift, buddy. Well, the entire sky has gone red and kind of purple, too. Mm. I have a word from Commander. You do it, put this office at once. <laughs> the way the sky has changed, it is ominous. Very ominous. What's this about, Commander? 
You did call us to discuss the quality of the novels, didn't you? I can wait. There's more pressing concern here that must be addressed. You got a good point. One of you guys stole my stash. You have no proof. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy, it struck the night sir from the fell from the sky, did it not? Yeah. Oh, it seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Oh, this is the way he goes full on, like he like he drops all the fucking yeah, pretenses. He, oh yeah, he's basically blaming you, think you caused it. Who or what are you really, Sarah? Like, we're Sarah. I said, I can't remember? I mean, you are. I thought, he, I thought one of the actions would have been like, human? You know, it's like, like, what are you? Human, what are you? Indeed, you've done as I've ordered. That doesn't answer the question of who you really are. You've done good job. But you came from the rift that just did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? No. Did you think to gain our trust by clearing the frenzies you yourself brought about? Okay, I'm just waiting for someone else to fucking step in here. And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after? Like... Yeah, he's been paranoid. Yeah, he had a bad experience. Okay, but... just... Oh, well, hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Sarah's wronged us. Ex exactly. And besides, what do you think? She's some sort of fearsome power that... Like, what kind of... Like, you think she has some fearsome power that it take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in return, can you prove beyond a shadow of a doubt she's free from guilt? But can you prove she is guilty? This person, the stranger appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she's to be trusted? Uh, Didn't I go for an entire fucking initiation to prove I could? You're not, look at Ingo! Can Ingo be trusted? He's probably been but, there for decades. But that's... No one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of doubt? He's basically just being unreasonable, like it's bullshit. Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Sarah supposed to do then? She'll be given a chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the galaxy team. She will remain a suspect unless she can clear her name. Fuck you. Okay, that's a bit moved, but also reasonable, whatever. Yo, know, those in the village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. I've been here for like fucking months. If no one can trust me at this point, fuck them. I must ask you to leave. You're no longer welcome in Galaxy Team. Consider yourself banished from the village until you explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. <coughs> no, until you restore the world to its way. Yeah, now it's like, yeah. Uh, until you can save the world, leave. They can tell yourself a mystery. Oh, wait, no, not a mystery. You have to basically solve the problem you caused. Is that clear? It's like those fucking, like, JRPGs where, like, some monster attacks of it, like, oh, because you grabbed that one magical sword, you clearly caused this. So, you know, you can't, you gotta leave. Is that clear, Silent? Yes, sir. Uh, well, trust me, she's not gonna be happy about this. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Sarah? Don't attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed, really, because it sounds like you have. That's why I've chosen to let you out here free rather than clap you in chains. Okay, uh, counterpoint, Pfft. Alpha fucking Wyperia. Like, I was half expecting him to, like, try and kill me. Like, like, one of those, like, you kill me and, like, you'll stop it or whatever. You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders, orders. Honestly, if this was like an anime or something, I imagine Silent would be like the person, like, you think like, okay, she's like, like, leave, but then she secretly sneaks you like some supplies. Oh, trust me, she, uh, she, uh, she goes on his back a little bit. A little bit? Because I'll tell you why you get the dialogue with this, because they're also saying stuff. Like, you just gotta walk by them and they'll say stuff. Uh huh. Scary. Wait, yeah. she's scared of that. Or either she can't say anything. You can't talk to her. Oh. Because. She... Oh, yeah, that's right. She's probably that. Di Although, I feel like with how influential the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clans are to the Galaxy team, I felt like Arita and Adam could have leaned a little heavily they on They won't. Come out of will go to war. 
Yeah, but the, they were always more worried about them going to war with, like... Each other, it's more feuding getting kind of middle, but... Nah. Look at no, that. no, no, no. person on the left is basically blaming you, he's like... Oh, fuck you, bitch. Basically, Kamaru kept gaslighting and talking on people. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. Oh, but the decision was mine to accept the stranger as a member of the survey corps. It's the only way I should push and escort her from the village into the fieldland camp. I'll come too. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then walk you always down, down to the fieldland camp. Safe travels. To him? All the people who actually train with the Pokemon, you know, have kind of experience. Well, and also, like, we also, we also did a mission with this guy, like, like was help, helping him with, like, a Mr. Mime or whatever. Yeah, but you helped the other people, but like I said, against those people, that really? uh, one security call lady's a bitch, though. I can't believe the boss would do this. He called all those nobles frenzies under his own orders. Mm, quite right. Moreover, if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. I'd say it's more purple than red, no, but okay. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You'll only cause Sarah more pain if you're driven out as well for defending her. I like how look at you. They like, you look can't help her if you basically throw yourself onto the fire. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond and Pearl clan. I feel like they should say Diamond and Pearl instead of both. Of course! Perhaps Adamant or Rita might take you in. Well, I'm afraid they both already returned to the threat of settlements. Really? I feel like they would have at least waited. Trust me, trust me. It's not what it seems. I bet you could have at least stopped by finding Liam at Grand Trio, you know? Not sure what it might be, though. If you want the diamond plan, don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander tasked with. If I may offer my advice. In this life, you will meet both admi admiration and abuse from others. How, the, how others choose to view you is a choice only they make. You can't make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? Not over. That dream simply won't come true without you. Um, it could. I mean, you guys can easily follow in my footsteps. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. Next episode, we'll decide Pearl or Diamond. I already know which one I'm going for. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's like, especially like really pretty heavy. Although I find it interesting that apparently I can still use these camps uh, for the galaxy team. Yeah, they're gonna do, cause uh, Kamaru's, they're gonna basically ignore him. Oh. Within reason. Basically uh, everyone outside Jubilee is just like, oh, the commander says it? Like, I didn't hear nothing. Anyway, uh, if you guys wanna go check out my other series on my channel, please do so. Me and Zero are playing through Elden Ring and a Soul Link of Hot Gold Slow Silver. If you guys want to check that out, it's been a lot of fun. No casualties yet. Well, we have failed in the encounter area. Which, that was my own fault. I, uh. Wrong move. Wrong move, and I. Well, I moved the moose slots around just to make things easier. And, and we basically had an unintentional barbecue. Yep. Anyway, uh, if you guys want to also head over to Zero's Twitch channel. And uh, give him a follow or just stick around for one of his streams. You know, why not? You know? Like the Elden Ring stream. Which happens every Thursday, 9 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And if you got if you got time in your busy, busy lives, um, would you mind clicking that subscribe button down there? I don't know what it does, but apparently it makes me very happy. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye.